What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ken. It's great to have you guys back here on the channel. For those of you who are new, this is the channel where we talk about filmmaking, photography and iPad Pro related content. If any of this piques your interest, do consider liking and subscribing to the channel. I'm pretty sure you will find something useful from the channel. Today's video will be talking about the official review of the ESR screen protector for the 11 inch iPad Pro 2020 which many of you reached out to me to ask me to make a second video about it so this video is for you guys so in the video we'll be covering some of these topics uh, sit back relax and enjoy the video let's get this on For the past couple of months, I have been extensively using the ESR screen protector for multiple uses. For example, taking notes, drawing, and actually editing on the Luma Fusion. And even casual pen swipes browsing using the Apple Pencil. So I'll be showing you guys the everyday light of actually using the ESR screen protector towards the end of the day. And trust me, towards the end of the day, normally you would collect a lot of smudges on the screen protector. Hopefully you guys can get an insight from this that using a screen protector that guarantees less fingerprint would actually collect some and this is a real life scenario of using the screen protector. As you can see, there's lots and lots of smudges and pencil trails left behind from the Apple Pencil rubbing against the ESR screen protector. And to a point where you have to clean the surface because it might trigger you seeing in between the lines. Do I clean it every day, you may ask? No, I only clean it once a week. Using a microfiber cloth in this case wouldn't do much justice because the microfiber cloth is only good for cleaning surfaces like on glass, like your lens or like your spectacles, but not on the matte screen protector. Over time, you may need to clean the ESR screen protector as it may get a little bit cloudy. But don't worry, you can use alcohol swipes to clean it. And once clean, it will be as good as new. So yeah, clean your iPad once in a while. Uh, so you want to sanitize, especially during COVID, you want to keep it as clean as possible. Remember to clean your iPads. Moving on. In a span of 2-3 to three months, I have only one small long scratch on the screen protector. Right here. I don't know if you guys can actually see it, but I noticed that taking pictures would actually help to enhance what I want to tell you guys and I really hope you guys can see it. It's not something big or distracting, it is just one small long line. I think the root cause of it is because I like to place the iPad face down and I normally drag it towards the edge of the table to pick it up and while doing it, I'm guessing that I might have gotten it scratched, I have no idea. Other than that, it's a perfectly well protected overall. So the golden question of this video, does the ESR screen protector actually wears out the Apple Pencil's tip? As far as I know, the tip looks almost the same as when I first started using it. Again, here are some of the close-up shots showing you guys uh, the Apple Pencil's tip. If there's any excessive wear and tear, uh, from the Apple Pencil tip rubbing against the ESR screen protector. Essentially, I don't think the ESR screen protector has a very high level of friction. Although it is, it has some friction, but I don't think that it is high enough to actually cause wear and tear any serious damages on the Apple Pencil tip. In fact, I personally think same goes with the Paperlite version where it claim to have a little bit more friction, where it mimics a more realistic paper-like feel when using the Apple Pencil. I don't think you actually ruin the Apple Pencil's tip because I'm pretty sure they actually thought through that the screen protector is actually engineered to create a little bit of friction but not too much that it will destroy your Apple Pencil too. Speaking about Paperlite, I'm not sponsored by them but if they really want to reach out to me, I will gladly accept and share my thoughts on their version of the Paperlite screen protector. And finally, the things that I like and dislike about the ESR screen protector. The only reason why I like the screen protector other than the sole purpose of it, having a little friction and mimics a more paper-like feel when writing on the iPad, is that it's really cheap. It is budget friendly and it actually get things done. The friction of it is just okay, but I would like to emphasize on the scribbling sound that I actually like. I have to emphasize it again. And for the overall price that you pay, I think it's a really really good buy. However, you will need to sacrifice some of the liquid crystal display goodness as the iPad Pro boasts for a really good picture quality coming out from the display. But all Max screen protector actually limits the visual experience from the user because they add a little bit of haze 
on top of the screen protector. This actually disrupts a little of my experience when watching YouTube, Netflix and other video content. Other than that, I would recommend anyone that has an iPad and using the pencil a lot to get a matte screen protector. Maybe you can actually get this ESR screen protector as it is much much more cheaper than the Paperlite version. If you have not tried out the Paperlite matte screen protector, I would recommend you guys actually trying it out. This is all we have for the video. I hope I've answered some of the questions that you guys asked in the comment section from the last video I did about the ESR screen protector. I had a lot of fun making this video as I know this would actually help you guys. So if there's anything that I missed out or there are any more questions that you want to ask about the ESR screen protector, do consider dropping me a comment down below. I'll be sure to get back to you guys as soon as possible. Of course, if you have any suggestions you would want me to review on the next video, do comment down as well. Thank you all so much for tuning in. For those of you who are still watching to the end of the video, you guys rock. As always, I'll see you guys very, very soon. Stay safe, peace out. Bye-bye.